first thing to do is to power on your meter. Hopefully this is pretty self-explanatory. Just push the power button. Next, you'll set your latitude and your longitude so the first strike knows how to tell you how to aim and pulls up the right satellites. Use the option button to move the little arrow over to your transponder number selection as shown. Now hold the zero key until the little arrow moves over to the longitude. Type in your longitude and latitude as shown. When it prompts for east or west, press any key on the numeric keypad to switch between east and west. Press and hold the zero key to save the data. You'll see the little bar climbing. That means it's saving and pulling up the information for your area. Here's how you select a satellite and transponder. Use the option key to move the little arrow down to the transponder number as shown. Use the keypad arrow keys to scroll through the list of satellites and transponders available. When you find the one you want to use, simply push any key on the numeric keypad and it will turn on the signal meter. You can change any of the settings by using the option key to arrow to the setting you want to change. Simply type in the new information, press the option key to go to the next item. Thirteen volts is vertical polarity, eighteen volts is horizontal polarity. Be sure to turn 22 kilohertz to on if you are using a universal L and B and you're using the high band, such as with the Spitfire Elite for North American satellites. When you're done, press the save key to store the data or you can press any key on the numeric keypad to turn on the meter. Make sure the little arrow is at the transponder number indicator when you do this. The little mouse looking icon indicates that you're in the pre-programmed database. To switch to the user database and back, press and hold the option button until you see it switch, about three seconds. Select the transponder you would like to edit or add, then use the option key to go through the various options and enter the data. Be sure to press the save key when done if you want to start. Then press any number on the numeric keypad to turn the meter on. The procedure is exactly the same one we just showed on changing data in the predefined database. If you get sick of hearing the meter beep every time you press a key, press and hold the mute button for about three seconds. It will beep once and be quiet. Press and hold it for another three seconds to turn sound back on. If it's dark and you need the backlight, Simply press and hold the backlight button for three seconds to turn it on. Hold it for another three seconds to turn it back off. To stop or start searching, make sure your little arrow 
is on the transponder number selection. Then press any key on the numeric keypad. To start searching for a satellite, take a short piece of cable, around three to four feet, and screw it from the meter, the right port on the meter, to the LNB. The BSC422 works great, because it has a second port, you don't even have to disconnect your receiver. This is what you'll see as you begin to play with your LNB, scaler, dish adjustments, or whatever it is you're trying to do. The important things to be looking at is the second lower bar, which is your quality reading, and the signal to noise ratio, which is the second number followed by DB. If you have the sound on, you'll hear a little happy chime, and you'll see the lock indicator when your quality is getting up there. But don't stop. You can probably get higher quality with a little bit more aiming.